So what's up, everybody? Your boy just got back from seeing the new screening of Monkey Man. So I'm excited because I was so hyped to see this movie. I thought that it had um, hints of uh, John Wick, uh, Raid, um, hints of the old boy, which in actuality, it was a perfect blend of all those, um, but in its own unique spin as well. Now, the movie itself, it was, I will say, it was pretty good. It had its ups and its down. I think the first act was really tremendously done well. Um, the movie stars, obviously, uh, Dave Fattel as Kid. He really doesn't have a name, but the first, um, the first segment of the movie, he is basically trying to infiltrate this organization um, by any means necessary by any means necessary to kind of enact revenge on them for what they did to his mother. And then the second act, it kind of goes into more in depth of how, like how they got to this point of what happened to him when he was a child and what they did to him. And then the third act kind of brings it all home, which a lot of the stuff you see in the previews with a lot of the hand to hand action. A lot of the hand-to-hand -hand action, the stunts, the the crazy uh, car chases and all that stuff. A lot of it happens in the third act. Now, what this movie actually excelled was the story and the visual shooting of this. Like, this movie was shot so well. I love the Indian culture in it. Like, it was just... Dave Patel did such a beautiful job in, like, this almost gritty filmmaking style of this. It's almost like, like Gorilla. Like, they were just in the streets hardcore with this, you know... And even like the stunts and the fight scenes, like it, it just got extremely bloody and extremely violent, which I do love. But the, my my takeaway on the second act, it was very slow. Like it was almost like the second act they should have did in the first act. So we kind of could have got to the third act, and, you know, and kind of, you know, uh, uh, kind of jump to jump started until the actual like fighting. A big part of the movie, he just basically kind of getting the crap beat out of him and really trying to find his purpose. In the second act, they kind of, you know, redirect what his purpose is and then he kind of fails out what he needs to do and to act his revenge. But all in all, like a very solid movie, like Dave Patel did his thing. Uh, probably a lot, probably I will say one of the best fight actual scenes I will see in this movie. Like I said, to me, the second act really kind of. It, it kind of made the movie a bummer in some aspects. It's just because it was so long-winded, you know, but but not in a bad way. Like, it did need the storyline. We used to, you'd still need to, to see, like, you know, why exactly he's, he's enacting his revenge. I get it. It's just, like, I think they could have shortened it a little bit. And the movie runtime was an hour and 55 minutes, which is, like, right under two hours, which it still felt like it was a little long. Like, they could have took off, like, 15 minutes. And a lot of it they could have took off in that second act. But all in all, like this, this is some of the most bloodiest fight scenes I've seen in a very long time. Uh, uh, I, I seen Dave, Dave, um, Dave Patel. He actually broke, uh, he broke his finger, or he broke his hand, and he broke his foot. Like making this movie, like the action stunts in this movie are just, and the the hand hand fight scenes, like they make you in awe, like of almost like a John Wick style, but even a little more grittier than John did, because John was more, he was he he fought, but he was more shoot you in the head, and uh, Dave Patel was more I'm a stab you. <laughs> But all in all, dope movie, guys. It comes out uh, tomorrow or Friday um, for most people. So please do go check this movie out. I do love it. I probably will go check it out again.